What's up, guys? It's Chris. <laughs> What's up, guys? Thanks for watching another video. Um, we're very close to 500 subs now. Like, I want to say 60 subs away and gaining daily. Um, if you want to be part of that 500 subscriber giveaway, make sure that you subscribe, uh, like the video, leave a comment. Um, we're only going to be making eligible uh, people who have commented and are also subscribers. So make sure that you comment and subscribe to be part of the 500 subscriber giveaway, which is going to be coming up really soon here, guys. Uh, so don't let that pass you by. So when snaking drains with my top snake, I always like making sure that my cable's shoved like pretty much all the way down to the trap, especially when it's on like a uh, shower drain like this. I'm gonna make sure that I shove my cable in all the way until I can't shove it in anymore, and then I start to uh, turn on the power. Um, this one has a pretty decent auto feed where you can actually kind of feel and you can tell by the motor when you're in the stoppage or not. And uh, typically in a shower, it's going to be within the first like 10 to 15 feet. It's usually right at the P-trap. If it's past the P-trap, then it's just a few feet past normally. Um, uh, these cables are only 25 feet long. So like I said, with, usually within the first 10, 15 feet, you get the clock. I popped it here pretty quickly. And uh, what I always recommend doing after cleaning a clog is running hot water. Uh, run it for a while. And uh, if you want, you can even snake it again while running that hot water and that will help kind of break up like a lot of the soap scum and stuff like that that's stuck inside the pipe that's catching a lot of the hair and stuff like that that's causing the clogs. Now there are definitely better machines on the market than the one that I'm using here. But I highly recommend this machine because A, it's really inexpensive and B, it's really easy to use. Um, if you have a Harbor Freight nearby, you can get one there for like, I think it's like 90 bucks. Or um, you can order one online. Um, even like some Amazon similar, there are a lot that are really similar because I think this is just like a basic Chinese made uh, drill uh, snake. I'm not really too sure exactly what to call it other than just a drill snake. I call it my top snake. But um, I think it's basically been highly knocked off by a lot of different Chinese companies. So you can find like really similar ones online uh, for, you know, probably less money maybe on Amazon. And then, like I said, you, you're going to want to change the cable if you do end up buying this type of snake or this model snake. You're going to want to put in a more rigid cable, which is what I use to help get through these more rigid clocks. Once you've ran the water and you've sufficiently cleaned up the area, um, you're going to want to make sure that you unplug your unit and then wrap up the cord. Um, and that should pretty much be it. I would run the water for maybe three minutes to be sure that the clog is not coming back and just be sure that it's draining properly. Uh, sometimes with these shower drain clogs, you can kind of just partially clear the clog and then one big gust of water will bring the clog right back so you want to kind of make sure that you get some water down that drain test it make sure that it's clear and then you're going to put the drain drain back on put the water off and get on out another thing you'll see me do a lot in my videos is put like drop cloths down and stuff like that it's just really important especially if you're um, not the homeowner if you're a worker or some sort of employee it's really important that you show the homeowner a lot of respect for their home when you're doing work in their home if you want somebody to trust you um, in their home to do work in their home you have to kind of show them hey I can be trusted like uh, I respect your property and I'm not just going to lay my tools down on top of the tile or, you know, stone or wood flooring or whatever the flooring or, you know, whatever it may be. You just always want to make sure that you show a lot of respect for these people who are going to be paying you money for your services. So if you made it this far in the video, thank you very much. I really appreciate you guys staying with us and watching the video. I hope I was able to help. Please make sure that you subscribe. Please comment. Please like. We're on our way to 500. Have a nice day.